what's going on guys welcome to another video so for today's app script uh series we are going to talk a fair bit on uh out making your own auto backup uh, for especially for your spreadsheets so uh, basically a majority of us who utilizes app sheet uh, normally would use spreadsheet for their um, database and it got me thinking the other day that perhaps I should be sharing with you guys as well on how to do your own automatic file backup using Google Apps Script. So this is important if you're running a small business or uh, important uh, operation or for your day to day. So basically, um, we will be running through a very simple tutorial uh, as a matter of fact and of course you will find all of this info back at my website arisazahar.com so without further ado let's check it out all right guys so to demonstrate the script that i've created for all of you so first of all we will have the we have our data here so it's just a dummy data, right? Nothing much, nothing special. Just to demonstrate, assuming this is the data that I want to do the backup. Okay. So the then we have the backup folder I just created. So this will be the destination folder. Okay. Let me just delete this for now. Right, so the backup folder will be the destination as to where I want the uh, files that I backup to be stored. So this is it. So we have the uh, set of data, active data or spreadsheet, and we have the backup folder. All right. So in spreadsheet, as usual, to open up the add script, head on to extensions and click on app script okay so this is the script that i will be providing in the description down below so it's nothing uh, uh, sophisticated just simply copy the file this is the code and paste it in your app script save it and run provide all the permissions necessary Okay, so once you have run it in your spreadsheet, later on you will see a custom menu that I provided called Backup. Okay, so when you click on Backup, there's two things that you want to look at, which is the first is Backup Now. But before we do that, head on to Settings. Okay, then you'll find these two options which we will need to fulfill first of all which is we want to set the number of backups that we want to store in our folder okay so when you click on here you can sort of define the number of backups that you want to store say for example i just want to keep it two for now okay click on okay so the message will uh, produce backup limit set to two all right next would be the settings and we want to set the destination as to where we want to store uh, so here it's asking for the google drive folder id like my other tutorials to get the id itself is to open up the folder so in my case is the backup folder then you will find the url in the browser itself showing the uh, id as shown on my screen okay so yours will be different simply copy the id and of course back to the spreadsheet we will have to paste our id and click ok destination folder set so that's the message you receive once you have set the destination all right and then only you will be able to click on the backup now okay so just to show you this is empty since i deleted my files earlier so if i click backup now it's running give it, give it a few moments all right 
So it's running the script. And there you go. So now in the backup folder, I'll have my first backup done. Okay. And let's see if it's uh, storing only up to two. So let's click another one, backup now. So it's running the script. Let's give it time. Finish the script. Okay. Then, of course, if we were to refresh this, now you'll see there's two backup. Okay. So let's look at the time. It's 749. 45 seconds and 749 18 seconds so this is the first one okay second one or the recent one is this one so if i were to create a third backup it should replace this one to a later time okay let's see finish the script okay wonderful okay now the oldest one is 749, 45 seconds. And the new one is 750, 22 seconds. So the limit is according, according to the one that I wanted, which is two. So you can set this to as many as how you wanted. Okay. And of course, you can set a trigger. A trigger that would definitely run the script. Okay. So... You can say here uh, you want to set this based on the time so it's time driven you can set this on day so perhaps you want this to be uh, done daily or weekly so you can set every Monday or every Sunday that the backup will produce a new file or you can set it by monthly it's up to you so you can try it and play around and see whether it works for you but then again this is something that i'm giving to all of you for free and you feel free to modify the script as you see fit okay and that's all so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like if you find this video useful and perhaps if you haven't subscribed Please do so, so that you'll find more contents like this in the future. And please keep the requests coming in the comment section down below. I'm Aris Azhar. It's been a, uh, a pleasure. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.